Hey, this is Kev from Blender Binge. Today we're going to be going over UV editing and the UV editing workspace in Blender 2.8. Ready? Let's go. Now the first thing I want to tell you in this video is that I'm using the latest version here of Blender 2.8 Alpha 2 build and they have changed and I'm not sure exactly when they did this but it was sometime in the last week or so. They have changed this interface here where these icons now go down the side over here. These are the icons that used to be across the top over here in this little window. Okay, So render, physics, world, texture, uh, these are all now going down the side as these new icons. Okay, So we have texture, we have uh, a whole bunch of different things here. Okay, So this is all over here. And the splash screen has changed as well, just adding this little theme area here. Okay, so now you can just change this to whatever theme you like. I, I'm going to stick to this Blender Dark because I kind of like it. And just know that the stuff's changed. Okay, so now let's talk about UVs. What are UVs? For those who don't know what UVs are, I'm going to give you a little quick rundown. For those who do, you might want to skip ahead a little bit. But this is kind of a good primer, so maybe just watch it anyway. UV, in the simplest way I can explain this, is just a way of laying out your object nice and flat so that you can put you can add a texture to it you can paint on it so what does this mean well if I took this cube I went over and I uh, un started unfolding it right I'm gonna do this if I were to unfold this flat okay if this were made out of paper and the paper were folded up okay I'm sure Many of you have probably done this in grade school or kindergarten or college or wherever. All right, and you lay this flat, okay, you will get this shape. So if I actually cut this out of paper physically in front of me, not in the computer, but in the real world, and I cut the paper out, I could fold it just like that, and it would fold back up into my box, All right? So when it's unfolded, Alright, so I'll go back over here, select this guy. I'm going to go to this UV editing tab, and you can see okay, that this, not this guy, because I operated on him already, but this guy, okay, the one that comes default with Blender, is already laid out in that shape. Okay, it's, it's flattened. So, so just that, let that sink in a little bit. You're basically just unwrapping and flattening out your object okay so let's just say I were to even just create a whole new scene here all right delete the cube and I'll add in a uh, torus okay when I generate the torus it says generate UVs okay with that checked all right if I go over to editing you'll see that it's now this guy is all flattened out it's already unwrapped it's called unwrapped nice and flattened out all right but if you didn't have this nice and flattened out there are many many cool ways to go about doing that in here let me show you exactly why you want to flatten this out first all right so if I were to go ahead and I'll just do a new scene because it's easier here add in a torus and I'm gonna say don't generate UVs so when I go over here to UV editing I have no UVs at all on this object okay so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna call in a texture for this so I'm gonna go and build a, a quick little shader and show you what this does okay so I'm just gonna quickly hit new all right shader and for base color I'm just going to call it an image texture. Okay. Hit open. I'm going to go to dirt. Why not? All right. And then for the vector, I'm going to go and I'm going to choose UV. Okay. And if you haven't watched the video yet on, on shading and principal shader and stuff, uh, I'm going to link to it up here. So right now I have this, this dirt shader. Okay. This dirt texture and it's on here and it's connected to the UV but there's no UV so you really don't see much here 
Yeah, I render, go to render view, nothing. It's just kind of brown, kind of nasty, right? So if I go back here to UV editing, and I turn on shading, or I'll turn on uh, look dev for material, or uh, shading, render, you see nothing, because we have no UVs. So what I could do, and I'm scrolling, using the scroll wheel to do this up here, in case you're wondering how I, how I move that. Okay, the scroll wheel on the mouse... Uh, this is a really, really long window in here, so scroll wheel kind of gets you around. So, if I were to hit UV, and I were to just say uh, Smart UV Project, and I hit OK, it's going to try to take this dirt texture, now you see the dirt texture on here, all right, and it cuts it up, okay? It, it, it attempts to unfold it like we just did with that cube, but it attempts to unfold it over here. And if you look at this, if I hit tab now, you see it's kind of nasty, okay? Like, okay, you'd be looking at this just going, oh, well, it looks kind of fine. Yeah, I guess. Until you look at it really closely and you're like, oh my god, look like crap, look at that. Like, there's seams here, like, this isn't matching, none of that's like, oh, it's kind of gross, right? It's not working. Well, here's how we fix it. All right, so if I'm in the tab, I go back into edit mode here. All right, instead of unwrapping it this way, we do what's called creating a seam. So I could do this. I could go edit and I can just do unwrap and unwrap it this way. Or I could do edit. I could do cube projection. All right. These are the, I can do edit cylinder projection, edit sphere projection. Okay. And, and these are all kind of useful for different things, but they're not going to work in this case. And the reason I chose a torus here is to show you how to go beyond this. So. Here's how we start cutting up our UVs to lay them out nicely. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my edge mode here. And I'm going to tell it where I want to cut it because I want to unwrap this thing. So in this case, I can cut it down here. And I'll still see a seam over here, but it's not going to be like crazy. Okay. So what I can do is I can start cutting this up. So I can go to edge. Hit all. Uh, I'm going to hit... Alt A, deselect everything, and then I'm going to hit Alt. Select this edge right here. I'm going to tell it to unwrap right there. So I'm going to say UV, mark seam. All right, you could also hit U on the keyboard still. For those who have used previous versions of Blender, U still works over here. So I unwrap that. Okay, so I mark that seam. And now if I hit A to select all the faces. Okay, let's go back to faces. Hit A, select all the faces. Okay, so I have this mark seam here. I hit UV. Unwrap, boom. Now it unwraps this and it tells it, cut it right here. So if I were to select my island here, okay, grab it, move it, okay, it cut it right there and it told it, give it a seam, and now you'll see that it's decently wrapped. All right. So it's good to know you have the seam down here, so if you're not showing it from here, this is a nice place for it. You could also add more seams. Okay, so if I were to go to hit Alt A in here and select another seam. Okay, I'm just gonna scroll over here. Okay, I hit two on the keyboard or hit that. Alt A, uh, go in here. Let's say Alt A, UV mark seam. Go back to faces. Select all, go to UV, and just hit unwrap again. I now have two seams, and I'm telling it to cut it here, cut it here, and it's giving me these two little areas to work with. So you can really go and, and ex place, place textures and files exactly where you want them. Okay, And you can also, I can go in here, okay, if I go to island select, and just select the island, all right, and I go to transform. Okay, I can scale this guy in, make him more round. Okay, I can grab it. I can rotate it from here if I want. They rotate it around, and you see what it's doing? It's moving that. So this is a way of placing textures exactly where you want them. Now, if you create a torus, obviously, you know, generate UVs, and the, the nicest layout is that nice flattened layout. But for the objects that you create, that you model, you're not going to have that perfect layout. Okay, so going and moving these around is going to give you the ability to exactly place 
what you want, where you want. And you can do more cuts. All right, so you can go in here. Uh, I can select uh, over here. I can hit Alt. Okay, oops. Got to be on edges. Okay, so select an edge ring here. UV, mark seam. Okay, go back to faces. Select all by hitting A. And I can go UV, unwrap. Okay, and I start getting different, different unwraps. Okay, in that case, I don't really like that one. If I were to go another in here, you're telling it to just cut it up in all these different ways. Okay, so if I were to go here, let's say uh, Alt, select that, UV, mark seam, go back here, select all, UV, unwrap. Okay, you see you're getting like these cuts, okay, and now you're, it's, it's a completely different look for your entire object. Alright, so you can see here that the texture is kind of really mangled and messed up. But you could start cutting and placing things exactly where you want them. Okay, so here's an island. I can move this island. Here's another island. I can move that. But the more you play with this, the more you're going to understand how this goes and starts working for you. So when you have your own objects, this is a good way to start cutting things up and placing them. And then if you wanted to, you could go to Texture Paint. Okay. And you see how it's kind of mapped, kind of donut y, but not. And you could say clone. Uh, you can do a whole bunch of different things. You can smear. So you, you're smearing, you're painting. Okay, you're, you're really kind of messing up your whole object. And you can see where your UVs are laid out over here as well. So if you were to go in the. Uh, say paint on here all right and you can see where the cut is all right but you can paint across the whole thing here and start really uh changing your object now there's a whole bunch of stuff that goes way more advanced than this like actually painting with textures and things that i'm not going to go into in this video but uh there's a guy uh I think Grant Abbott who does a series of really awesome videos on on how to do this and he has way more than than uh than I can show you in this short video. I highly recommend his channel. Uh he's really really good, but this is how you start off and this is how you start using UV editing, okay? This this is how you start using this to cut up your objects and to texture. Okay? Okay, one last thing I want to show you before we end this video is this little space that we kind of glossed over before where I showed you island. Okay, if you want to kind of know where your UVs are, all right, you can do you can do face selection and you can select faces on your UV, but you see here that I'm selecting faces but it's not showing anything in here. Okay, if you're selecting these and you don't see anything, this is very frustrating. Okay? You can go over here, they've put this, the uh, keep UV and edit mode mesh sync up here. So you hit this, and now with this on, you can go ahead and you can see where your UVs are and where your polygons are, okay, at any moment on your, on your object. And you can select uh, entire rings, okay, this way, selecting in here, or selecting in here and seeing where it shows up on here. Okay, that lives up here, okay? So, without making this video super long, that's the basics. Go in, play with it, start to learn how to unwrap. Because once you start to learn how to unwrap this stuff and you start seeing what results you get when you do these different cuts and you do these different things and operations on here, you'll start seeing how the objects you make, you can cut up more, place around, and then go in and start texturing. Okay? And then one last thing, you could always take this... Okay, and this is, I'm showing this dirt here. You don't have to show that. You can just take that off. Okay, so you could take that off. And you don't have to use the painting in here. You could always just say image. Okay, you could save image. Or you can go to UV, export UV layout, and then you can save it. And then bring this into Photoshop, paint the texture, and then just simply go over to shading and bring that back in over here. And your texture will be painted exactly how you want. So you don't have to use these uh, texture paint and all this stuff in Blender. It's nice. It's nice that they gave it to you, but you don't have to use it. You can just go UV, export UV layout, 
export it, bring it into Photoshop or GIMP or whatever you're using, paint it, bring it back in, and there you have a textured object. So hopefully you got something out of this. Hopefully you learned. Um, if you did, hit like, subscribe, hit that little bell notification so you get notified when I make more of these videos, which I seem to be doing a lot of lately. And you'll be notified and you'll go and learn. So go and learn. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.